Charlie Boy is asking this Oyedepo man or God as he slams Pastor Ibiyomi for cursing Daddy Freeze. Um, and a follow up on that, Daddy Freeze has responded to Pastor Ibiyomi's um, video with another video. I didn't think the story was going to blow up the way it did. It's been trending since for, yesterday. Yeah, for quite a while now. Uh, this is a very clear case of. But why would you think it's a blow up? It's religion, it's Nigeria. I, 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 <laughs> I think I didn't expect Freeze to. I don't know. I didn't expect him to milk the situation in the way he did. I, I, I guess so. I think he's experienced a lot of that lately. Mm -hmm. He's one of those people that tries really hard to, you know, think without like following the masses and sometimes it gets him into trouble blah 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 but anyway it's a clear case of um, religion gone wrong like we see a lot in this country the first time i saw the video of mr Pas pastor eb <laughs> he needs one he's also, he's he's also Mr. Don't worry. <laughs> but you know first time i saw that video i just thought the first thing for me that stood out was the the reaction from the crowd i mean sometimes pastors but then have i was said, not surprised as well because I've seen a lot of cases where sometimes the pastor will say something really off and the whole church will kind of go quiet. It's also like, ooh, yeah, to like threats and things. They said amen. Of, yeah, it was kind of strange for me to be able to see that. That should not be allowed. I'll be very disappointed if there isn't some type of authority that comes into this, this story to warn people that threatening a life is not a joke. It shouldn't be accepted in any way. If not, you are, you are really setting precedence for, for a dangerous type of environment. So for me, it wasn't funny anymore when he started to threaten that. Either ways, um, he needs to also understand that even Jesus Christ was criticized, that you are not bigger than criticisms. And not everybody needs to say something about your religion, your faith, your God that suits to you but how you respond is very important um and there's freedom of speech but hate speech is another thing i like this guy's response even though i, I feel like he gave us some oscar performances in between his apologies but i like that he hit the nail on the head and he was quite clear as to even warning people that if anything ever happens to him which is how serious his threat is you know that you know who to go to blah 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 and also, also calling for help as well yeah I kind but of then like that. maybe this is where i want it fair to come in because is that how it works? Coming to the video, say if something happens to me, it's not supposed to go to the police station and file a report and then they get um, the pastor to right. sign something and then that can be held. So if anything, which we are, not, we are hoping that's not the case, happens to Daddy Freeze now, is that video enough to say, oh, he has said if anything happens to me? Is that how it works? We've, we've seen certain videos in Nigeria, so I'm not going to be surprised with men of God. We've seen, I'm in pain, I'm in pain. If anything happens to me... We've seen such mm, I'm just saying going no. by the law now. Going by the law, mm. yes. We've seen we've seen several that's what I'm saying that we've seen several cases of people coming on social media to call mm -hmm. things that they should actually follow protocols mm -hmm. for, right? So um it's not enough. It's but well, it's 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 a it way is. of putting it, it's evidence that I've put it out there already. Mm -hmm. And then we don't know what steps he has taken about going to the police station to but also say that yeah. he probably hasn't told us that, but that is oh, something I think he that mentioned that he's, he's with an ongoing Going, well. Yeah, but with an ongoing investigation, you really can't come out and say these are the steps I've taken, I've taken, I've taken <laughs> like that. You can't really come out to talk yeah. about that. But um, my major concern is what is going on in the religious space. Mm. We've seen conflicts with people that feel like churches shouldn't be open because of the COVID-19 pandemic. We've seen people that are saying that of other churches that have refused to open because they are concerned about the welfare of their congregation mm. are unbelievers. We've seen several things coming up. So I really don't know, like, this is... An institution we have believed in for years. Mm. This is an institution that has kept many souls and bodies together. This is an institution that has put people without faith to have faith, right? This is an institution that has helped many. So I really don't understand where an institution that has shown us unity for so many years to the point that a lot of Nigerians are very delusional when it comes to religion is now the one that are going at each other's throat like politicians it's mm -hmm. really saddening i don't think it's new i just think like it's, every other thing social media just amplifies things and now make you see your life in 10d if there's anything like mm -hmm. that yeah but when i saw pastor b Miss video that was yesterday morning i mean that that was after having to go through erica's drama over the weekend i felt like this is the version of erica 
having a without, mental breakdown without, without, without the having to be yes and without <laughs> having to be in big brother and having to say you have one strike mm. you are evicted because that was basically what she was doing as well to lay when she was saying um if i wasn't in the house if i said i'll kill you and i mean threat to life so i'm placing both of them right now in this instance on the same table to say both of you have got the same issues and it's it's quite sad because this is a man that a lot of people look up to i'm not going to say i'm part of those people because i mean his church is not even in lagos or anything like I'm, I'm i don't follow him religiously but he's a pastor and having that tag um pastor behind you or the title pastor behind your name and the fact that i'm a christian means that i there is a level of decorum that's expected from your personality right even me as a person just elsie godwin picking up a phone now making a video and saying the same things that he has said i'm sure people will send emails to this organization to say she's not supposed to work here anymore mm. she's this is hate speech this is a racism this is looking down on somalians every point that that is actually raised, even though he was really <laughs> playing to the gallery, yeah. He made sense, yeah. yeah? So I, I hope that there is a higher authority, even though people like this feel like the higher authority is God. So I'm hoping now that Bishop Oyedekpo can come into the picture to let him understand what he has done that isn't right, because that's the person he was fighting for mm. anyway, right? So I'm hoping that that higher authority, because for him to want to fight for him in that capacity, it means that he respects him. So I'm hoping that he can come into the picture to make him understand that, yes, you have the right to feel a certain Why type of way. Why do I not feel like that? I'm not, I don't you think it will not happen, yeah. right? Yeah. But he is the and, one that and should it's do It's all right this. for you to feel that way, and I like the fact that you brought in all the parties, plus the one who mm -hmm. was not involved in the threat and the other yeah. ones were involved i like the fact that you have brought in everyone mm. right and um i think this is a part where i will still go back to unity in the religious institution where we all need to come together and remember that, that, look we have followers we have a certain influence mm. on people Huge so we can't be the ones dragging each other if we are doing that what you expect the people which to we're do. leading to do <laughs> so i think <laughs> I know you have your reservations when it comes to religion. You want to come but, in? But I just okay. feel like it, it, it's for me. It's just re reiterating the the. Uh, the perspective I have of religious people that they are, they are the ones who create the standard but they are the first people to fail that standard as well mm. for you to claim so boldly tell people what to do with their lives how to make decisions what to say and what's not and then to be exposing your dark dark hearts because forget about defending what you forget about defending the word of mm. God this man had a lot of cruel things to mm. say about quite a lot of people and I, I, I feel like I mean even right now I'm still almost scared to to chastise him the way he deserves because they will say he is the anointed but it's it's absolute bs um no. i feel like it those this type of things should be taken extremely seriously because his heart that he revealed to me with the mic he was holding was very dark and well the i also was standing exactly up. and i also need you guys to remember one saying that many are called you are you saying Pastor Ibrahim is not called? I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. Okay. I just want you to always no, remember that, that, that many are called, are but few are chosen. So, who is so called at the end of the day, now? you need to find out the chosen ones, and then maybe then we'll be able to draw okay. a conclusion. Our time is up. I actually had a question, but we need to go. <laughs>